Hi, it's Aurelius. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start a brand from scratch. So if you've been itching to get that idea of yours, that product idea, you know, it's like one thing that you've always wanted to do, but aren't really familiar with the steps on how to proceed, how to execute it, then this video is for you because I'm going to walk you through some of the most important steps you should go through. Things such as validating an idea, whether it is something that people are actually searching for. So I'll share some of those tools with you and I'll show you where you can get supplies and products at wholesale prices and various steps such as branding and getting a website, you know, which platforms should you use? And then after that, I'll show you how you can market your entire brand. There's no denying that e-commerce has surged wildly. And of course, because of the pandemic and the lockdowns, it's made a lot of consumers go online to purchase whatever it is they want to get. According to the UN News, global e-commerce jumped to $26.7 trillion. And check out these stats, the retail e-commerce sales worldwide, it's only growing more and more. And obviously these future ones are just predictions, but you can see where it's going. So it's obvious that e-commerce will grow more and more and now is the best time if you've ever wanted to start an online business. Okay, now that you know why you should start an online business, the first step that you wanna take is to research your idea, you know, that idea that you've always wanted to put out. The first tool you're going to want to use to research on your product idea is to use Google's own keyword planner tool. Here I am in the tool. To get here, all you need to do is make sure you have a Google account. Once you do, go to ads.google.com. Once you've signed up, go to tools and settings, then to the keyword planner. Next, click on discover new keywords and then enter your product idea. I'm going to start with a seed keyword. So the main product is a journal, but with journals, of course, there are other sub kind of uh, categories of journals. Like you've got a five minute journal and other like a gratitude journal too. So we'll start with journal first and just check out the demand. You wanna make sure that you change the location to whatever country you wanna target. Of course, if you're targeting worldwide, then you won't need to put anything. We'll just click on save. And here are the results. We've got average monthly searches, which is the main thing you wanna look at, between 100,000 to a million searches per month. Of course, this is a very broad uh, keyword that we've started with. If you know exactly what you wanna sell, then type it in. And in this case, let's say it's a gratitude journal. And now you see keywords that are more relevant to my search term. So I've got the gratitude journal, which is what I search for, five minute journal, and some other related keywords. We know for a fact that people are searching for gratitude journals and sometimes you, you can even skip this step if you know that people are buying gratitude journals and whatnot. But by using Google's Keyword Planner tool, you get an idea at least of how many people are searching for it on Google. Some other strategies in terms of whether a product is in demand or not is to simply be aware. What are people talking about on social media? You can also run some surveys and get some feedback from communities directly related to whatever product that you're trying to sell. You know, ask them, is this a product that you would buy? Or just go through a set of questions to see what things they're actually looking for in a product. Moving on to the next step, and that is sourcing products. Where do you go to buy products at wholesale prices? The first thing I wanna say is no matter what you're selling, you obviously wanna make a return on investment and make sure that your business is running efficiently at the end of the day. When I first discovered about this whole world of online business, and this was 15 years back, I knew it was the future. At that time, whenever I explained online business to friends, family, and colleagues, they were truly skeptical. And I can understand why, because back then it was relatively new. An online business has always been the way to go for me. With an online business, it's low risk, low startup costs, and you can scale because you can tap into a global audience. Now to source products, I recommend using Alibaba.com. With Alibaba.com, you can choose from thousands of products at wholesale prices from reputable and verified sellers. It aims to solve three main pain points that small business owners face. That is finding products to sell, buying from reputable and trustworthy sellers, and handling the logistics, you know, the fulfillment of those products. Simply put, with Alibaba.com, you spend less, sell more, that's business. Right now is actually the best time to stock up on inventory ahead of the holidays, as Alibaba.com has its super September running from September 1st to September 30th. 
here I am on Alibaba.com. It's the biggest annual promotion that uh, they offer, as far as I know, with the highest discounts of up to 40% off. And by the way, if you look in the description box below, I've provided a link to Alibaba.com's Super September event. There's also shipping discounts and on-time delivery, so making sure that the products arrive in a timely manner. Now here's what to do. You take your product idea and search it on Alibaba.com. So here's the search bar. I'm going to search for journal and here are the results. The first thing you can do is to set some criteria. We've got supplier types. I would check this, which is the trade assurance and also the verified supplier. And because there is a promotion for Super September, I wanna make sure that I check the Super September. And that way I can see the ones that are discounted. And um, by the way, verified sellers are those that have had additional third-party verification and factory inspections. So that gives you a bit more peace of mind. But taking a look, we've got results from the suppliers. If for example, you like something like this, we can open that up. You can flick through the media gallery and check out what the product looks like. With Alibaba.com, typically there is a minimum that you have to meet in order to make an order. Otherwise you can purchase a sample if you look below. Another thing to look for is customization. So if you do wanna add your logo, your brand to the actual product, then this customization feature is what you wanna look for. Do they offer customization? You can see this, they've got customized logo, customized packaging, and also graphic customization. So then settle for one product and start ordering. What you wanna do is to go and browse, search for some products that you like, and then what you do next is to contact the supplier. You wanna to get to know them, communicate, and build a relationship first and see how their customer support is, for instance. Another thing you may wanna discuss is a customization of the product, perhaps even setting a minimum amount. If the minimum shows that 100 or 200 is the minimum, perhaps negotiate and see if you can do 50 instead. So that's where the communication comes in. In addition, you also wanna discuss on logistics and fulfillment, You know, talk about the company that they'll be using to handle all that. One thing you may also wanna look into is drop shipping, where you don't need to buy stock and inventory. Instead, you have the supplier fulfill the orders on your behalf. And this year, Alibaba.com's got discounted rates up to 40% off on their newly launched dropshipping service and DDP solutions. Here's a dropshipping page where you can search for the products or browse through the products. You can browse and let's say products under US $10, we can click on let's say smart bands and then click on this smart band right here. What we can do is obviously look at the details and description of it. And if it's something that we're interested in, we can go to add to import list. And then back on the dropshipping page, we can go to the import list. So now we've got an archive of all the products that we're interested in and perhaps we'll be putting on our store. And that's Alibaba.com's dropshipping service, which I just wanted to touch on. So go check out Alibaba.com Super September event and see if you can grab a bargain on one of the products that you are interested in selling. Again, look in the description box below where I'll provide a link to Alibaba.com Super September event. All right, now that you've got an idea of what products you can purchase, the next step is, should you go ahead and actually register for a company or a business name? I won't go into too much detail with this as different countries and even states have their own jurisdictions. So it's best to seek legal advice. So I recommend someone like an accountant or even a lawyer who understands, of course, business, you know, incorporating, things like that. Here in Australia, where I'm from, you can just register a business as a sole trader. So if you don't have any employees, then that would be the way to go if you're just starting out. And once things do get serious, you may wanna consider registering for a company. But again, do seek legal advice. The next thing you wanna think about is branding. Now with branding, there's actually a lot to branding. It's not just the logos and your website and all that. It's actually your voice, your style, your tone, you know, what it is that you wanna convey your brand's story to. But because we are dealing with products and selling products at the end of the day, I am going to discuss, you know, things like brand colors, you know, because we'll be using that on our website and things like our logo even. The first thing I would suggest is to think about the colors for your brand. What I would do is to go to Pinterest and then start searching and get some inspiration, you know, things that you like. Let's say I wanna search for interior, which I've already done. I've searched for interior, found this specific image. I like the colors and style of this. So what I'm going to do is 
Now go to Canva. If you don't have Canva, look in the description box below where I provided a 30 day trial of Canva Pro. Once you're in Canva, just create a blank canvas. So create a design and what we're gonna do is do a custom design of let's say 5,000 by 5,000 pixels, giving us more than enough room to now copy and paste the image that we just uh, found. The one I found was this, so I'll right click and now I'll go and copy image. And from here, I'll just paste it in. The great thing about Canva is that it'll create a color palette for you. So with this image here, the way to get the color palette is to go and do something like add a heading or text. So I'll click text, click on heading, and you may not be able to see this, but it's right here. It doesn't quite matter because what I'm gonna do now is select that, and then I'll go and hit the color text color icon right here. And just like that, I've got the color palette and this can essentially be my brand colors. We've got this gray and pretty much black here, darker gray, green, and a brown color here, or more so an orange. I guess it took it from this basket of oranges. Now, how do you go about applying these colors to your branding? Well, if you go and create your website, you wanna make sure you incorporate some of these colors as well as your logo, of course. For logos, I would simply go to fiverr.com as there are a ton of designers there already. Filter it by whether you want something minimalist, 3D, mascot looking, signature, hand-drawn, and so on and so forth. One thing to make sure you get across to your logo designer is to let them know that you'll be printing on a physical product. So that way they know not to make a logo too fancy or ones with too many different little elements. In my opinion, keep it clean, keep it minimal. Next up, let's talk about websites and selling your products. You know, which platform should you use to sell your products? The first approach is to get web hosting and a domain name. So if you're a little more savvy and you want more flexibility, this will be the choice. Hosting has got a range of hosting services such as the shared hosting, cloud hosting and WordPress hosting. So go and check out the services. I recommend something like the shared web hosting to get started with. Their premium shared hosting offers 100 websites, so that's a great way to start if you plan on hosting more than one website and also offering a free domain name. In addition, hosting has got one-click installation of WordPress, so that way you can get started with your WordPress site right away and then install whatever necessary plugins you need. The main WordPress plugin that you wanna make sure you use is called WooCommerce, so you can install this and download it for free. And from there, it's a matter of choosing the right theme and configuring your website. I do have another video showing you step-by-step -step how to go about using Hostinger, installing WordPress, as well as WooCommerce if you look down in the description box below. Aside from using that approach to setting up your e-commerce store, you could also use an all-in-one system such as Shopify. It's perhaps the easiest and fastest way to get your e-commerce website up and running as they really have those templates and the payment processing, everything integrated in one. From landing pages, checkout pages, payment integrations, Shopify has got it all. So if you're looking for an all-in-one system, then I recommend you using Shopify. Next up, the greatest product and the most beautiful website isn't going to make you any sales if no one is going to see it. So that's where marketing comes in. The first thing and most definite thing you wanna make sure you do is to have a social media presence. Instagram and Facebook would definitely be the first social media platforms you wanna make sure your business is on. The reason why is because that will open up to doing paid ads through Instagram and Facebook ads. With Facebook and Instagram ads, you really can go deep in terms of the demographics, geographical location, and psychographics of your audience. So you're not wasting any money and you're only putting in money to those who would be interested in your product. That's paid ads. What you also wanna make sure you do is do some organic content marketing. So share some valuable tips, some content online, on Instagram, on Facebook, or other social media platforms where your audience is spending their time. I've got several videos on how to market and promote your business and products, so look in the description box below for them. All right, that pretty much sums up this video. I hope I've given you a roadmap to follow, you know, from idea, concept, to execution, to seeing something tangible, you know, live online and ready to sell. If you were to ask me, you know, if I were to start a brand from scratch, these would be the core main steps I would follow. Thanks so much for watching. And again, do check out Alibaba.com's Super September event. I provided a link to it in the description box below.